Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this channel, I hope everyone is staying safe. How's all of you, everyone doing? Aries, how's everyone? How's all of my beautiful subscribers, my new subscribers? Thank you so much for your beautiful comments, your likes, your shares. Thank you for your energy, your vibration. It means a lot to me. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest with someone else. Apply the gender roles and reverse the roles. How they fit in your life, Aries. All right. Let's see what's going on in your life. How's everyone doing? Okay. All right. Let's see. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is message for Oh, okay. Because I seen that card and I said, all right, well, spirit wants it to come out. All right. So there's two cards. It's right here. First card is abundance. Come to me. Have some of you been doing affirmations? Some of you been wanting, you've been uh, needing some finances. You've been waiting for something to come towards you. Is that's what's going on? Well, uh, abundance is about to come to you. Okay. Receive it, claim it, and have faith in it. Second card come out. A lot of you are heartbroken. What's going on, Aries? A lot of you are heartbroken. What has happened? Is this you heartbroken or is this your person's energy coming in that's heartbroken? All right. Let's just see what's going on. Let's just pull something from see what where your love is. Oh, Aries, what's the matter? My goodness, you just fell over. What's wrong? Are you okay? Thank you, Spirit. What is two cards for Aries? I was getting ready to say Leo. Are you dealing with a Leo, Aries? Are you heartbroken over Leo or Leo heartbroken over you? What's going on? Thank you, Spirit. Separation. Yeah. Are you separated from someone? That's why you're heartbroken. Mm, keep saying Leo. Is this a Leo? Are you heartbroken? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. You're in separation. Separation, uh, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like some of you having problems talking. You know how you're crying and then your voice kind of get like, and my voice just got kind of like choked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel energy of pain. Heartbroken. You, you, this uh, separation is on the horizon. Have you already broke up with this person? Or you're about to break up with this person. You're about to go in separation mode. And it's really tearing you apart. It's really breaking, breaking you down. I really feel that energy. Spirit, give me one more card for Aries. One more card. One more card for Aries, Spirit. One more card for Aries. One more card. One more card for Aries. Thank you, Spirit. One more card. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Aries. Definitely separation here. Okay. Second card. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Uh, some of you are about to go on a honeymoon. That's for somebody. I don't feel like it's uh, Aries. And that ain't no honeymoon. Well, Aries, I don't know. Aries, you might feel like you're on a honeymoon once you separate from this person. Because you're going off for by yourself. Maybe you're taking a trip by yourself somewhere. Maybe you're just getting away. You need to separate yourself and get away from this person. Or this person needs to get away from you. But I really feel, you know, I, I don't know the energy yet, but we'll find out. So you may be separating from this person. You just, it's almost like you just, you saying you need a vacation. You, you need a vacation from this person. It doesn't literally mean that you're going on vacation, but I feel as though that you need a vacation from this, this, this person. You need to get away. You need to, you need to just clear your head. When I look at this card, I see that intuitively that you need to clear your head. You need to get away. You need to separate. You need to get your, gather your thoughts together. Uh, because I'm like honeymoon. No, I don't think that Aries wants, you know, going on no honeymoon. It's separation is on the horizon. So intuitively spirit just told me, no, this person wants to get away. So 
Um, a lot of y'all, if you're heartbroken, maybe you just feel like you just want to just, you know, get away from the world. You know, when you're heartbroken, you don't want to be around nobody. You don't want to deal with nobody. This could be your energy or this could be their energy, Aries. But we're going to find out, okay? Let's find out. Let's find out what's going on. Spirit, this message, this reading is for Aries. What is the energy? The energy. What is this reading about for Aries? Yeah, Aries, I don't even think you want to even have your reading done today. I'm just saying. I don't think you want to have your reading done today. All right, let's see. Here we go. Yeah. I feel like you just, like I said before, Aries, I feel like a lot of you, um, you're okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Your person's energy is coming in. It's heartbroken. But you're saying, I need a vacation from this person. I feel as though that you're saying that your person is too clingy, too smotherly, uh, excuse me, needing validation. And I feel like that's why, Aries, you are ready to get away from this person. I feel like it's just too much. It's like this honeymoon to me, intuitively, I don't see it as a honeymoon. I see it as you getting away. And if you have to, it may feel like a honeymoon to you or it may feel like a uh, vacation. This could be you would be vice versa. But you just feel like I got to get away. I got to get away from this person. This person's killing me, killing me, overpowering me with their energy. They smother lately. They're, um, 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 what is, <laughs> my mind just went blank there for a minute. Yeah, they're smothering me. They are a clingy, um, wanting validation all the time. And it's just like really getting to you. Okay. I feel like you, a lot of you are still apart from this person. OK, you have the queen of a queen of swords in reverse and it's been a while, maybe a year to five years. OK, yeah, this person was not who you thought this person was. This person was not true to who they were, who she was, who he was. You could have been dealing with a Libra. OK, Aries, uh, justice was in your favor. I feel as though that you went ahead and here it is. Confirmation. You got your separation papers from this person. Your person, your ex-person energy, they're heartbroken. You said, I can't do it. I got, I, gotta get, I got to get away from this person. This person is draining the living life out of me. I can't go nowhere. I can't do anything. It's always an argument. It's always a fight. It's always something. You said, I can't do it anymore. You said, I got to get away. I got to get away from this person. I can't. Well, this person's energy is in their heart broken. See, sometimes people don't see themselves as they think. A lot of people think in relationships when you're clingy and smotherly, like that's the right thing to do. That's healthy. That's not healthy. You're literally sucking this person like a snake, sucking all of the blood out of their body. Because you're being so clingy and smotherly, they can't even go take a poop. Okay? I'm just saying. So, this is, this. I, I really feel like, Aries, this is your energy. You say, I got to get away. And um, I feel like you just want to be off to yourself, by yourself. You don't even want to talk to any family right now. You just, because this person... It just it's just too much. You, you, you know, you, you say, I got to go. I, I got to clear my head. I just need some time and space to myself. Mm -hmm. Spirit, tell me more about Aries reading. Thank you. Yeah, this person, you know, this person is definitely broken hearted. Here it is right here. Aries. Yeah, your person is brokenhearted, heartbroken, however you want to put it. Yeah, they're brokenhearted. But you say, I don't give a flying saucer what they are. I have nothing to say to this person. I have nothing to say to this person. This person was just too much. 
I had to file for papers. You know, I went through too much with this person. I couldn't even be me. You know, I couldn't even be me. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Ace of Cups in reverse. No emotions. No emotions. No new beginning. You have nothing for this person. You're happy. You're happy within yourself. This person cannot move forward. You're happy. Because you wasn't seeing, you had to cut this person out your life because you wasn't seeing no results. Okay? But their energy coming in, he or she wants a second chance. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, it's your, your ex person energy wants a second chance. He or she's coming into the reading. You say, oh no, uh uh. A lot of you are saying, oh, no, no, thank you. Mm-mm, mm-mm, too much. It was too much. It was just too much pulling and just, just me pouring so much into this and seeing no results. You say, I, 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 I got tired of it. I had to cut this person out of my life. I had to get the separation papers. I had to, I'm filing for divorce. I got to get away this person. I, it, I get the picture. I'm picturing in my mind that you're like, I can't even think. Ain't that something for someone, for your partner to be that smotherly? Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Tell me more about Aries reading spirit. Tell me more about Aries reading. This one, okay. Yeah, this person is it, your soulmate. But as you can see this card, look at this card very clearly. You see how you have one person? One person giving, giving, giving. Okay, one person always got the hand out. Yeah. You said, I can't do it. Need, needy, needy. Yeah, it was too much. It became too overwhelming throughout the years in this, in this marriage, in this long committed relationship. Your ex person is stuck on you. Yeah, a lot of cups in here. They're isolated. Okay, it's like they just he or she just woke up from the dead. Just you know had an epiphany. He or she just had an epiphany. But you didn't fit. You didn't feel. You have the uh, seven of swords in reverse. You did not feel. You felt abnormal. You didn't feel like you fit in with this person. You understand? You didn't feel like you fit in. It was just. It was just too much going on. Too much going on with this person. This person needed validation. This person was clingy. This person was just doing too much. And when I look at this card, I when I look at these two cards together, intuitively, not what the card says, but intuitively, it tells me that somebody needed to get away. This person smothered you like a pillowcase throughout the years. You say, I can't take this no more. You say, I can't, I can't take it. Mm -hmm. so tell me more about Aries reading. Well, you're, you're, you're um, yeah, <laughs> go ahead and say something. You're going to say your ex is very sad, very depressed. You got a lot of cups. Ooh, you got strong, strong Cancer Scorpio Pisces in here. They're very sad. Mm -hmm. He or she's looking back on nostalgia memories. Very, very sad. They can't move forward. They want to, he or she wants to come back for a second chance. You see that? See that, Aries? You said, I can't. I can't. It would have been okay if this person, if, if I didn't feel like I was in a jailhouse when I was around this person. Can't go to the store. Can't answer my phone. Can't go over my mom's house. Can't go to my cousin's house. Can't go with my friends. Can't even walk our own child to a park by ourselves. Couldn't do nothing. This person literally suffocated you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
You said, I can't do it. You said, I cannot do it anymore. There it is. You said, I have no more love for this person. This person wasn't only your soulmate, but this person was your twin flame as well. Could have been dealing with a Gemini. But you say, I have no more love. I, 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 my love is all drained out. I have no more love for this person. You learned the truth. You learned the truth and you realized the truth that this person, this person drained you for everything. This person just suffocated you. Yeah, this person, your ex person, don't want y'all's relation, y'all marriage or relationship to be over. They don't want this, the world card in reverse, don't want this to be over. Mm. Yeah, you're looking out on the horizon. You're waiting on other ships to come in. You ain't studying this person. Tell me more. Tell me more. Thank you. Yeah, things are not going right for this person. Things are not going right for your ex. You couldn't count on her. You couldn't count on him. Yep, there they are. They have a very low self-esteem. Things, yeah, they're over. He or she is overwhelmed. But you said it is over. It is dead. I am done no more when I let this person mentally drain my every being. It is over. D E T. I'm sorry. D-E-A-T-H. Oh, God, what happened there? You said it's over. Death, it's over. You said, I can't. I can't. It's over. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. That's what you said. I want a divorce. It's right here clearly. Death, I want a divorce. I don't even want the separations to stay I want, I want, I want the separation as soon, before the ink can dry. I want a divorce. That's how bad you want a divorce. Mm -hmm. Spirit, any other message for Aries? Well, their energy is rushing in. Your ex-wife, your ex-husband, or whoever you was in a long committed relationship with, they're coming in because they want to rush and they want to talk to you. Let's talk about this. I want to talk about it. This is their energy. I want to talk about it. Oh. You said, no, thank you. They want to talk about you walking out on them, leaving them hurt. Maybe they was hurt and sick when you left them. I don't know. But it clearly shows that you walked out on them and left them in the cold. That's what they're still, that's what she or he is still angry about. Mm -hmm. You could not trust them. Period. They was not trustworthy. They were not loyal. And he or she was not honest. Yeah, here go AKA. AKA just showed up in your reading, Aries. I told you, it's, it, it, the energy, it's this AKA, as known as, this is your ex-person, whomever it is to you in your personal life. But AKA showed up in the reading, very vindictive, very cruel, very mean. You got tired of it. Very manipulative, intimidating. This is AKA, just showed up in your reading, Aries. And I feel like, it just came in my spirit. I feel like you you had to hide from this person. You had to vanish. I feel like some of you had to just go move somewhere else and stay on the down low for a long time. Like, you, yeah, you had to literally get away from this person. Spirit, any other message for Aries? Any other message for Aries? Any other message? Thank you. Yeah, this is someone you was definitely married to. Mm -hmm. And it's also this card means you conquered a lot from this whole situation. But this is also a marriage. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, another Aries, Leo, mm -hmm. Libra. Yeah, Earth sign. Look a bit of everybody in here. 
But yeah, you it's almost like you had to really get missing. Once you separated yourself from this person because they drained the life out of you, you had to get missing. This honeymoon wasn't a honeymoon. This was you getting away, moving far, far away from this person, just getting out of the way. You didn't want to come in no type of contact with this person whatsoever. And AK showed up in your reading, still the same person that they are, that she is, that he is. They're just going through a full-blown tower moment. I feel that, even though the card is not here. They want to come back for a second chance. They want you back. They have a low self-esteem. They're not feeling good about themselves. You know, they're overwhelmed. They want to talk about it. They want to come in and talk about it. You say, no, thank you. I don't want to talk about nothing. You, it is it is over. Dead. Death. Done. But for the for a lot of you, I've been praying about abundance. Abundance is about to come to you. That's that was for a small percentage of you. You claim it and you and you um keep manifesting it because it's coming. Uh this abundance is coming to you, Aries. I am positive those energy. Until next time.